fake news factories aka journalists who sold themselves. We live in a world where we allow ourselves to be influenced by the press, which some call great power. And the impact of the press today is truly the most fatal possible, because it basically falsifies and distorts everything. Rudolf Steiner in his first lecture on Contemporary Historical Observations, December 4, 1916. In September 2014, Udo Olfkott, a former journalist and foreign policy editor of Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung, one of the leading German conservative dailies, published a book on the ills of the German, and international, press and its intertwining with certain political and economic circles. Are politicians, the secret services and the money capital controlling the German media, and let's add at the outset, not just Germany. The Hungarian edition of the book was published in May this year at the same time as the English and French translations, e the international publicity. The significance of the rather journalistic volume of the document is given by the fact that for the first time he speaks to the general public about what Rudolf Steiner saw completely clearly about the operation of the press and its real drivers a hundred years ago. Purchased journalists can thus serve as an example or collection of texts for Rudolf Steiner's prophetic statements about how the press works, even where journalism was from today's media mechanisms, the mind-altering techniques of the tabloid press, television, and the Internet. Almost a hundred years ago, in the middle of World War I, Rudolf Steiner spoke about journalism and the manipulative power of the press in a lecture on contemporary historical observations. What did Steiner mean by gray magic? Toxic effects on society that are not detectable in substance but have an intellectual effect. And such toxins that affect social life can be used in a targeted way. Gray magic is nothing more than controlling toxic effects in such a way that they have a detrimental effect in some direction to cause, socially, pathological conditions. An important tool in this magic is journalism, which aims to obscure the facts rather than to provide a clear basis for judgment. In this context, Rudolf Steiner spoke in his lecture of January 15, 1917 on the magical power of modern journalism which can make people believe everything, the magical means of certain companies is to use the power of journalism for their own purposes. To achieve. Journalism, the press, is an important means of carrying out the mass suggestion. 1. However, for these effects to be felt, they need people who are particularly suited to it. Rudolf Steiner said of this on December 17, 1916, it is a matter of these circles, always finding a way to get the right people to the right places. 2. And Rudolf Steiner here is an analogy, uses a number and metaphor to illustrate this mechanism of action, the occultists behind it are often merely some, and have no special significance in themselves. To achieve the desired effect, they need something else next to them, they need zeros. Zeros are not ones, but if we write a zero after each, it will become a 10 right away. And if we add more zeros, although all zeros are only zero, but if there are some of them, we get even more quantities, hundreds, thousands, and so on. And if we cover the one, there are apparently only zeros there. However, zeros only need to be properly linked to ones, and zeros don't really even need to know how to combine them with ones. 3. Rudolf Steiner uses a perhaps even more vivid analogy to describe the occult circles that control events from the background and the public actors they use to appear in public, the parable of the puppet and the puppet. Rudolf Steiner also speaks in detail about the real movers of the threads, the occult circles that control the background, in contemporary historical observations, but he cites two examples of the puppet figures they use politicians and journalists. They are the puppets, the zeros that some use to achieve their own goals and selfish group interests. End of the reading